Welcome to Excel Business Math Series number three. Hey, here's our file we're working in, Business 135, Chapter 00. At YouTube, you go to my channel, youtube.com, user slash Excel is fun, and scroll down, and there's my college website. And all the way down at the bottom, Control End, it's the Business Math Series. We're just starting it out. If you're enrolled in my class, just download this workbook from the website. Hey, in this video, we have to talk about order of operations. What are they? Hey, first, what in the world is... What's the answer to this? 2 plus 2 times 3. Is it 12 or 8? So is it 12 or 8? Let's take a vote. How many of you people think it's 12? Let's see, I see uh, 13 hands. How many of you think it's 8? Uh, 4 hands. All right, well, that's pretty typical. That's like if you asked all Americans. <laughs> Lots of them wouldn't know. It's actually going to be 8 because there's order of operations. You're supposed to do multiplication before addition. Why is this so important in Excel? Because Excel knows the order of operations. So if you type this in and are expecting to get 12, you're going to get the wrong answer. You're going to get the wrong answer, not Excel. Hey, here's the order of operations. First, do everything in parentheses, left to right. Second, do all exponents, left to right. Third, do all multiplication and division, left to right. And fourth, do all adding and subtracting, left to right. Let's uh, scroll down here and do uh, this equation here. 2 plus 2 times 3 equals 8. I'm going to click in this cell. Equals 2 plus 2 times 8. Eight. Now, those of you that are going to take tests from me, don't get all freaked out when you see some. If I ask you to do this and it's written like that, just do it that way. Don't put artificial parentheses because that's what we're trying to do here. We want the multiplication to come first and then the addition. I'm going to control and then hit enter. Hey, that's different than we did last video. Last video we did enter and tab and shift enter to put something in the cell. But now I hit control enter. That puts the thing in the cell and keeps the cell highlighted. Now, I'd like to go and take a look at how Excel calculates this. Now, we're going to do, there's a little note down here. If you scroll down here, you can read this note about how uh, to find Formula Auditor. But in 2007, you go to Formula, and then Formula Auditing, and then Evaluate Formula. In 2003, you got to go to the Tools menu, Formula Auditing, and then Evaluate Formula. Now watch this. Um, we're going to click the Evaluate button. And it evaluated that just because it was looking at it. It says 2. And then the underline says now it's going to look at that one. And now the underline said it's going to look at that one. See how it went and got the values from the cells first. Then, see, Excel is doing the multiplication first. So 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, plus 2 is 8. Hey, let's do another example. Uh, now, let's force the issue with parentheses. We want to do the adding first. And in this case, we'll get 12. So equals, in parentheses, 2 plus 2, close parentheses, times 3. And when we hit Control-Enter, we get 12. Let's run Formula Auditor again. And look, it's looking in there inside the parentheses. It gets the 2, and then it gets the 2, and finally it adds them. So see, we forced addition before multiplication using parentheses. So now it's going to get what's in D18. 4 times 3 is 12. All right, let's do a, a more complicated one, if I can even fit this on the screen. And this one, we're just going to, this is like typing. We're just going to copy what we see. Equals, in parentheses, we need 6 minus the 1 times the 2, close parentheses. So what we're practicing here is we're just practicing entering formulas using cell references and operators and equal signs. And then we want to divide by, in parentheses, 2 shift, oops, 2 shift 6, uh, 2, and then close parentheses. Notice we're getting the cell references. By the way, what I just just did just a moment ago, if you hand in a, uh, a formula like that in the test and it asks you to do cell references, uh, it'll be marked wrong. So don't do that. Control-Z. That's undo. Control-Z. So I have um, this up to here, and then I need a plus 2 times, and now in parentheses, 
I need to get my 3 minus 2. Close parentheses. Now, I'm going to leave a parentheses off. Watch what happens when I hit Enter. Sometimes if you messed up the formula, it'll try and be polite. Microsoft Excel has found an error. error. It's going to suggest something. D don't accept it, because it, it's only a computer. It's not that smart sometimes. So I'm going to click No, and then go back. It says your formula is missing a parentheses, or check your formula, and then you click OK, and then you edit it. So I found that the parentheses is missing. So now Control Enter, and I get 3. There it is, long how I want to act long hand right there. I want to actually switch over and do this by hand, just show you once by hand how this would work. Now let's see if I can get this to work. This is going to be uh, be using a mouse here. All right, uh, I'm going to select my pen. Let's see if I can go six minus one times two, and there is a line there. Now when you're writing uh, expressions by hand with a math you can just put a bar here and it means this. If you're in Excel you have to do that. But if you're in math you just do that uh, bar, that division bar, and it, and it means a parenthesis. Alright, and then 2 squared, and then I have plus 2 times, and then uh, 3 minus 2. Man, that's hard to do here actually using one note. All right, so we'll do everything in our parentheses first. So we'll do a, th a parentheses here. What's 1 times 2? It's 2. What's 6 minus 2? 4. So I'm going to rewrite that here. Now, this is a parentheses too. Remember, by hand, um, we see a line here. Now, remember, when we were in Excel, we had to put parentheses around it. So don't forget that. 2 squared is 4. And then I'm going to just rewrite it, plus 2 and times. Now I can look inside this parenthesis and do that. What's 3 minus 2? 1. Now I'm left with uh, left to right. Now we can rewrite this one right here because we know any number divided by any number is what? 1. So 1 plus 2. Oh, and uh, now we have our multiplication. What's 2 times 1? 2. So we leave it there. And finally we're left with only addition, so we get 3. So that's how to do it that way. All right. Um, that's just a brief introduction to order of operations. Don't forget, only four things you have to memorize, and then you will be um, set to do any math expression you want. Uh, later in chapters 1, 2, and 3, and on, we'll do more complicated ones, and we'll talk about them order of operations again. All right, uh, come back for the next video. we got to talk about the very important formatting and how it affects math calculations. See you next video.